the Ghana National Association of Teachers, NAT, is asking the education minister designate to see to the abolition of the three months payment policy within the sector when given the nod. According to NAT, the policy has caused huge outstanding salary arrears, which government may not be able to pay. The NDC government introduced the three months payment policy within the education sector. Under the policy, Teachers who have worked between two and three years are paid three months while salaries for the rest of the period are validated before payment. So far, more than 60,000 teachers have been affected. It is this policy the General Secretary of NAT, David Ofore Champon, wants the incoming administration to abolish. The most important issue to look at presently will be the issue of what triggered the validation. It is all a policy that was brought in by the previous administration. That when you are employed, uh, it, you, you should be paid three months of your uh, salary arrears and then produce documents to justify why the remainder should be paid to you. Right. I think that one, they should quickly look at it and just take it out of the books. Again, NAT won the payments or transfer grants streamlined. NAT General Secretary is confident the Education Minister designate Dr. Matiopoku Prempe, if approved by Parliament, will deliver despite his health background. Dr. Ms. Joyce Ayi, you can mention Betty Modi Drisu, you can mention the late Barry Du, Osafo Mafo, Papa Uswankama. And these guys didn't have any background purely as educationists. But they were successful. I believe there is a managerial position they are being given. And if you are a manager and you are worth your salt, it doesn't matter where they put you, you can function properly. All that is important that you come and you deal with the relevant stakeholders.